We have got a load of other products. What I've just been cleaning this with, a product called Rapid Detailer. It's got a gravel in the fog lights. Why is it so difficult to follow? <laughs> Your side Let's go down from there. Yeah, category B is identified to be crushed in its entirety. I don't want to work. We've got best car bought and best car sold. So. Right, Monday morning, bank holiday Monday, and it's all systems go already. Sophie's coming to pick up this red 207. She's got someone coming to view that. There's a video coming out on that soon. Uh, and we've still got that, you might remember from last week's video, the Fiat 500X that we tried to send out on Saturday, but it wouldn't start. You know, been driving fine all week, then we parked it up there, and then it won't go. So, We've actually taken a reservation on the Range Rover Sport over the weekend. That's been up for sale for just a few days, really. And with a very nice margin on it. And someone's reserved it and they're gonna come down and see it today. Problem is, it's in the showroom and the Fiat 500X is blocking that. So uh, I'm just moving some cars around to make some space so that we can get the Fiat 500 out of the way. You know, when we move that round, there will be space. Pick the wrong day to wear a shirt and it is all a bit tight because I'm so swole. It's around the belly. Um, yeah. But the driver would be busy and slow, to be honest. I used to spin it around in a windchip. Well, well, yeah, so I need to get people to spin it around. But I also need to check if it has a tow thing. That's what I need. And years later. Fuck you. Yeah. There you go. Alright, bring up the boys. Go with 500 decks. Let me spin it and we'll change the truck. Come on. Has this been solved? This one. It doesn't start. It doesn't start. At all. That's easy. Well, it's going. It's going Huttons. Good luck getting the handbrake off. Oh. oh yeah, it's an electronic it's handbrake. Electric. Is it off? Yeah. Go on then. Yeah. Good one, yeah. I'm just going to let the safety unit in there. Nah, what have we got though? I'm surprised she hasn't made a compilation yet, though. <laughs> 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 There is a few, isn't there? Yeah, there is, I'm off. I was going to say, it's not too light. That's probably wide enough. 
off? I don't know. Maybe. We'll find out. Only too close to the car. So you have to pull it, turn it, twist it, like, and knock it back. It's fine, it's done now. Yeah. Right there. That, that is the number plate touching plate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly off the top of my head, my sales manager is not here today typically, but it certainly wouldn't be a long turnaround. Uh, you can do, yeah, it depends where in the country it is. Um, we would charge 150 to deliver it. Um, I would just double check with the team, but yeah, I, I would have thought so. I would have thought so. Shouldn't be a problem. We've got scope to deliver it, it's just whether, whether the car will be ready to go, but I'm sure it will be. Like you say, I just haven't got the, the facts off the top of my head. Yeah. Love a job. All right. Thanks a lot. Cheers, Bobby. That line is terrible. Yeah. Hey, you have to repeat the postcode. It's like, see you out there. <laughs> Two uniform x ray. Like, yeah, okay. Sorry, repeat it again. <laughs> Two uniform x ray. The first bit again. It was easy. Because I would have picked up. I was like, sorry? Sorry? Uh, two sugars. Yes, please. Yes, yes please. A figure like this doesn't happen by accident, we're calling. <laughs> Got a lot of fuel in a high performance vehicle like this. Morning. 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 
Morning, Toby. Yeah. 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 Not that machine, it's like no, small yeah, yeah. I'd well move this, but we have Mr. Sales Coffee Man guy in the way because um, we have a sales corner and it's not full of sales cars, like sold cars. This is a sold car corner and we have cars that are still for sale in the corner. So I need to whoosh, and then whoosh, we will look good. I'd have one. I'd have one. It's so cool. I don't like the roof thing though. Like, what's this about? I'm just, it's like a Citroen badge <laughs> on on the Nissan. Oh, you missed me doing all that at work. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to clock in the Yeah. It's full of bird poo. Look at that. Ooh. Need to do a little video on cleaning cars. If you were asking, come with me. I was just about to take it and I'll put it on Instagram. But I know not everyone's on Instagram. In fact, someone got quite upset about me even asking you to follow me on Instagram. The only reason I say follow me on Instagram and TikTok and stuff is because it's easier for me to post stuff. People were asking what the Tango was. This is what it is. It's from what this bike. You can't hear, they can't hear me, can they? Probably with the wind out here. Um, I'm like, if I come in here, I won't be blowing in the wind. But your microphone's still out there. Um, so yeah, it's like a aquaphobic kind of uh, silicone-y type stuff. So you're going to spray it on, it kind of makes it bead like it's just been waxed. It's really nice just for finishing up a car. If you know, you, even if you are going to dry it off, it will still give it that um, kind of finish. So it's nice to have from a cleaning cars that go on the forecourt, because when it rains, they all bead up. They've all been polished. It just makes them look nice. Um, but we have got a load of other products. What I've just been cleaning this with is a product called Rapid Detailer. And it's kind of like a quick evaporating, again, silicone based product, I expect, I'm not an expert. But you can kind of just wipe it over just to polish a bit of shine, get some bits of dust off. So, find where they keep floor mats now. We get cracking on our getting into the car trip. God, car trade uh, videos. So we can cover car cleaning in that, I guess. Basics. I bet you get here with no through, no problems, do you? Let me hold that camera while you get through. Here he is, the whip it. Bloody <laughs> hell! That's insulting. You're all going to call me proper budge artist, as this is a 2018 hybrid Toyota Yaris that we've just sold for 10 grand ish. But detailers, master detailers, it's not all just about cleaning, it's about making things the best you can with what you've got. So, this seat, for example, there does seem to be like a little rip or burn in it, and you can see the fabric. I'm just going to take a sharpie. And do that now i know it doesn't fix it but just it improves the appearance it doesn't make me a botcher mate it just means you're trying to make it present it at its best that's what detailers do they touch in paint things they flat it back and whatever it hasn't fixed it like a lot of details like spray paint floor mats and stuff if they're really full of straw and this is embarrassing now <laughs> Right, anyway, that's a... Come on then, let's see a skirt. <laughs> the room is spare. <laughs> Ridiculous. Um, right, that's that, ready for that to go. They're gonna come in in about 20 minutes. So I'll move that around, hopefully you want to see when you watch. Look at that bad boy, I treat myself. Seeing as I'm giving away a free watch, um, like a nice new tag for you. 
I really like the vintage ones. This is like a 1980s Tag 2000. I'm only saying, and it's not bragging because it's not a very expensive watch, but um, I like them. And people ask about them in the uh, in the comments. You know, people quite often say, nice Rolex. It's not a Rolex, it's a Tag Heuer. It's like a copy of, it's a knockoff really, but it's still a nice Tag Swiss watch. Um, yeah, so. If you haven't subscribed already, subscribe because you could win the Formula 1 Tag Heuer watch. Probably, Toby's already put that at the beginning of the video, but I just want to say it again because I'm quite excited about it, giving it away. Don't ask me why. It's giving away like £2,000, but I don't know, it's just fun. The fact that I can do that now, it's quite exciting. Anyway, it's too busy for standing around and jibber jabbering, isn't it? It's been quite stressful actually. And Jason gets back tomorrow. <sighs> give him one of those. Just try and give an update on what's happening in this. That's why I just can't reposition the leg. <laughs> <laughs> this ML is uh, took a cheap collection, I think. We've sold that, so Steph's in there having fun with that. This, we're doing a video on this, so I can't tell you too much. But Adrian's going to check it out for us. Now, copyright back on. Well, to be true, I would say the water pipe's leaking on it. Okay. And all the, now as well, which they will comment on the water. I, I, I personally. No, it's, got, it's got gravel in there. Fog lights. I probably would say it's better off standing as is. Yeah, it's one of the backing plate that's collapsed. All sorted? If I set off to come have a look at the bit of the So, what we have to do, it's pretty easy. Um, check the corners of the car, they're the most common things to be scratched. Edges of doors, wind mirrors, wheels. Uh, seals and gates being jacked up wrong because you can cause a lot of damage by, by doing things like that. Um, and then I just check the, the engine bay, check coolant, there's no contaminants, oil's okay, there's no there's no like froth in oil or anything, no signs of head gas, it's going, it's a 520D so it's, some of them bulletproof, not all of them, but they're pretty good. Um, yeah, check condition of interior and, and tyres, just a, a general check of the, the condition of the vehicle, it's, it's rare anything bad comes up, but then a little test drive. And then the, the money stuff. It didn't work on it. Hasn't taken the glass with it. Oh, I guess it's just. Yeah. Oh, it was supposed to do that. No. Yeah, that works, and then that goes up. Perfect. I'm guessing there's a way to, like. Yeah, there's this one here. Lock it or so the power boot works. And you think that will affect the MOT, but it has just had an MOT, so. You would think everything's been checked, but as we all know, some things on there. Look at that. Boost. Boost. That's it, all cut. <laughs> Why is it so difficult to come off? <laughs> Yeah, so we're looking for is foamish when the oil mixes with water. But that can happen if um, the vehicle's left for a long period of time and the condensation comes up through the engine and mixes with the cap. So sometimes if it is a little bit, just run it for a bit and if it consists, then, then, then you have a problem. It's just the expansion tank. What you're looking for in here is um, oil mixed with a coolant. Some vehicles will have like um, an oil cooler that's, that's cooled by water. And once they go, they can mix. So many things there, you normally can't see into it, so... It's fine. That looks like just water. That's yeah, alright. Probably will not change in a while, but it's fine. Slight damage on the wheel. But, 
something that small would have put down to age and use the mileage of the vehicle. If it's like battered and it's like oxidized, then it's a different story because you need to get them redone, but it's just like slight scuffing that's under like two, three inches in patches around the wheel, like that there. That's just age of the vehicle. It's, it's over 100,000 miles. It's, it's gonna have a little bit. But yeah, well, here's some trade plates. And I check it and it's something as simple as like EGR or something, then I, or, or something emissions, and I, I don't mind driving it, but if it's anything like DPF or oil pressure or anything like that, I won't drive the vehicle with an engine light. Just it's not worth it. Mm. If you can end up driving the customer's vehicle with an engine light and it goes wrong, then it's kind of my fault for deciding to drive it when there's an issue. Okay, right, gonna hop in. I understand people being untrustworthy of test driving vehicles and stuff, but we are a registered company, we're not gonna. We are not going to steal your car. We are not going to steal your car. And even if we did, how we get how we get away with it? <laughs> uh, we're all over YouTube. Like, yeah, you just stole a car, shifting metals. Oh, yeah, <laughs> we know them. So main thing here, I normally drive with the window down, um, or slightly cracked. Sub 30 miles an hour. So you hear the bumps and everything. Make sure brakes work. There's no engine lights, no airbag lights, so good. But we do need to get it for its gears because it's an also. You have to find bumps, not potholes. You don't want to. You don't want to blow a wheel out. But you have to find bumps on a test drive. It's, it's a weird way to drive because you're just trying to. You're trying to, in a sense, make the car make a noise, so you know there's nothing wrong with it. Pretty much, pretty much, how it's about like here. I reckon. I reckon this thing's. This thing's pretty solid. Yeah, all's fine. Yeah. Do sport work. Yeah. Eco, yeah, it's fine. I think this thing is, I think this is good. Other than the slight nick on the boot and the slight wheel scuffing, I think this is a, a nice, nice good car. It's a minter. Um, I'll be giving a, I'll be giving Jason a call anyway of my what I found with the vehicle, um, just to make sure he has no worries. Because sometimes I'll, I'll be picking up a vehicle. I don't know everything. Be nice if I did, but I don't. And. Um, People that have been the, the, the business longer than me, like like Joe and Jason, will be able to point me to things wrong with the vehicle, like common problems I'm not aware of. So I always give him a call before I do any money things, um, just to make sure there's nothing he wants me to check that he's a bit worried about. Because um, he looks at MOTs and history of the vehicle and everything, he should kind of have a rough idea of what's going on, what I need to look out for. So yeah, I just give him a call before I transfer any monies. This is if Jason picks up the phone. I've never known someone so bad. I'm picking up a mobile phone. So, Joe, I, was, I, was, I wasn't sure to get a hold of. I was going to get a hold of, um, of Jason. Um, uh, yeah, I'm here with the car for more. I, I can't find anything. I can't find anything wrong with it. But it's it looks pretty. It looks pretty good to me. It drives fine. There's no knocks. There's no bangs. The tyres are okay. I, I can't find anything wrong with it. It's pretty good. But yeah. Send them over. I go from there. Amazing. Perfect. Thank you very much. Thank you, everybody. So all I do now is I. Go talk to the customer, tell them the good news, get some details and get them paid and then done. It's easy. Yeah. Didn't get a book pack or any service history. Which I was showing about. The one that you went and picked up from the lady in Wedmore or Winscombe or somewhere. Is it a hybrid? Oh yeah, the hybrid. Hybrid. Oh, yeah. Ding on the back. Uh, I had some kind of glove box. Like well, it's gone. I wrote to her and said, Sold now, anyway. Yeah. There's definitely a V5. <laughs> I didn't hear that was it. Yeah. I want to spend 10 grand on a car. I want bloody book that. You do need to, uh, service history. You do need to specify the notes that it has that as well because in, in the notes it never said that. I always put SH. I was like, what that means, is it? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, if you spell it out. Yeah, I mean, if we're spending 10 grand on a car, assume that it should have a book pack, two keys, and, and I will say if not. You know, my boss told me once, never assume. Well, yeah, so always, it should always have it. So if I told you different. But you don't need to tell me if it does. No, it always comes with a book pack and two keys and oh. service history. I will tell you if it doesn't. And I'm going to argue with customers. I'm like, Jason told me. Well, that's fine, yeah. That's <laughs> just argue away, mate. Well, thank you. Let's go find this. Thank you.
<laughs> it just has to be support left right because I've only got it on the centre. I don't know how it's going to be, but I'll attempt to find it. Go down from there. It's the easiest way because it's that corroded. And when you go up in there, in the foilers. wearing gloves just a minute ago, wasn't it? <laughs> nice. Gross. Mm. Where do you start, eh? Hey? <laughs> Isn't it, we bloody, uh... Top ring. Did you carry it, did you? They did. <laughs> I think he's going to wash it off. All right. 113,000 miles. So ads 3 2 litre TFSI, black edition, sport back, petrol, s troy Quattro, etc, etc. Um, and then we'll do a retouch. Uh, what I'll do, I'll email you this report so you can see it. Stuff. And then, yeah, category B, uh, unsuitable beyond repair, and is identified to be crushed in its entirety, May, uh, sorry, 3rd of February 22. So, yeah. Obviously a bit, you, you got an MOT to February next year. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, obviously if there's anything I could do to help, by all means give us a bow, but yeah, certainly not something you want to take in part exchange at the moment, I'm afraid. Thanks, mate. Cheers. ta -da. Thank you, Jason. Phil Atkins again. Uh -huh. It's the second time you've gone. KS62 BTF. Yeah. They put it through vehicle score, it doesn't come up with anything. Yeah. Well, let's try. It's, I've never seen it before. It's a massive big red flag. Yeah, it's a concern, but... Usually... Let me, um... I'll ring it back just so I suspect it might be... Is it um, the Merc thing? Is it the white out there to not put on the car, or...? What's this? Um, someone's... Hey, man, it's Jason at Bro Motors again. Yeah, having looked into your Audi, I suspect this is a mistake somewhere. It, it doesn't look... Right, if you see what I mean, because it, it, you, 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 it's just I've never seen a Category B car put back on the road, and I'm sure you couldn't be driving about in it unaware if it was that bad. I think what I suspect, although I, I, I'll have to confirm it, obviously, I don't want to buy it on my suspicions. Uh, I appreciate that it might be a way off, but I think it might have been the private plate that was transferred from that car was put onto a car that was written off. Um, and it's just stayed. That seems likely. But leave it with me. I'll do a bit of research and I'll, I'll see if I can find out and I'll give you a buzz. He's just on the phone at the moment. Can no worries, mate. Talk to you soon. Cheers. Done up. When in doubt, get vehicle school to check it out. I think vehicle school has given us the correct answer. I think experience confused because it's maybe a different registration or something. Because uh, there were similar things with. Uh, the SL500. What about the Hopefully the traffic's not as bad as everyone says. They look pretty bad, don't they? 
I don't want to work. I just want to bang on the drum all day. Yes, I do. Uh, DJ got you, that is. Our mate, Dave from Car Dealer Pro. He stupidly told everyone in his video the other day that he had that single out. And now it's proper earworm. Well, it's, it's done a little number on me, but Toby's even worse. So I'm just sat there at my computer, and all I hear is, I don't want to work, I don't want to make it. I just messaged Dave to say, if I have to hear that all day today, I'm going to murder him. Uh, yeah, there you are. Didn't know he was so famous. Musician, DJ, basically Tiesto. I don't wanna play, I just wanna bang on the drum day. Anyway, that side, we're heading to BCA Bridgewater, hoping the traffic's not so bad. They're saying that it is on the motorway. So we're gonna take the back roads and pick up a Rain Land Rover Discovery Sport. I've never had one of these before. But in the spirit of buying nicer things with, I don't know why I did that, like I'm a <laughs> Italian, no? The nicer cars. That was an Italian. That was, yeah, that was Kazakhstani, wasn't it? Is that a nice car, I like? You don't even know who Borat is, do you? Oh, God, it's terrible how old I am. Anyway, yeah, car, good, nice cars, nice margins. I'm gonna go and pick this bad boy up. Again, it's another manual. It's crazy, isn't it? That's, what's that? Did I buy that today? Or yesterday? Can't remember. But that's two Land Rover products in the last couple of days. Must be mad. It's all fun and games with Land Rovers and Range Rovers. All shits and giggles until it ends up in tears when one of them shits an engine out or something. Throws a crankshaft or I don't know, whatever they do. Um, yeah, so we'll see you at BCA Bridgewater. Here we are, once again, back in the land of financial mistakes. Uh, right, I'll pull over then, let you drive around till you see a plum red Discovery Sport, wine red perhaps, and <laughs> you're licking your lips. <laughs> See you around there. in or whatever. Easy. Wants a little polish up, little scratch along there, but she's nice. Yeah. Look at this. Number of previous keepers. None. So truly one owner car. Smells a bit damp in here mine. Apparently that's one of the problems they have is screens. Yeah it was a one lady owner from Devon, as far as chops didn't snatch this up somehow. Uh, it does smell a bit damp in here, so I wonder if... Uh, apparently, the windscreen's leak, but you know, let's get a windscreen refitted, then so be it. Well, it runs, which is reassuring, considering it's a two litre Ingenium. Sounds a bit rally and whatever, but um, I need fuel. Apparently I've got 10%. Oh, no, it says 71 miles, so I reckon we can risk that. I forgot my tray plates, so um, I've just realized that you've got this set upside down, so everyone will be watching me upside down, Toby. But I'm sure I can switch it around. Um, yeah, I've got no tray plates, so we are going to be doing a bit of illegal driving. Better we take the back roads, keep away from the, the Rosers, 
Um, happens quite often, to be honest. You probably wouldn't think it, would you, people in the trade? Very blasé about driving without tax or trade plates. Um, right, I'll take this then. Yeah. Cool. And follow me. Never had a Discovery Sport. Plenty of Freelander, Freelander 2s, Evokes now, recently. Range Rover Sport, Discoveries, 3s and 4s, but I haven't had a Discovery 5, although they don't call it a Discovery 5, and I haven't had a Discovery Sport like this. That's quite cool. Subaru Forester XT, that's right up my street. How did I miss that? I suppose I don't look for older stuff like that anymore because that's like 20 years old, but I just think that's cool. Bloody hell, it's a bloody Rosas. Funnily enough, I might have mentioned this before in another video, I think, maybe the last time we came to BC at Abridge or what, but long before I ever used to be in the car trade, buying cars, certainly coming to auctions because it was a good few years, well, a couple of years of trading before I ever even went to an auction. But I always used to come down this road past BCA Bridgewater and quite often there would be a police car just parked up in the lay-by of BCA Bridgewater and I think it was just, they would just check all the registrations as they're coming out, make sure they had MOT, things like that. If they didn't, people would get pulled and I'm sure there was loads of uh, people who turned up to collect their car, they didn't have trade plates or trade insurance or whatever, would see that police car parked there and they'd just drive on by one of those days. What's gone up here? Oh, it's just broken down, I guess. There was uh, a police car went flying by a minute ago. I wonder if someone had been hit. But... So, what's going on there? Well, this thing drives lovely. Absolutely lovely. So, no complaints with how it drives. Everything seems to be in good working order. Just have to find that it's a, a one own, one lady owner car. I don't even know if you can advertise as a one lady owner car these days, can you? Is that it's prejudicing someone? I'm sure it is. We've got Paceman Discovery Sport, neither of which need a great deal of work, I can fiddle around with those, but might take the 5 Series Estate, which we also haven't got photographed or whatever, up to the hand car wash. Yeah, yeah. The well, white, white, white yeah. Has he not finished that yet? He must be close. Oh, was, was he? Working on it? He was, yeah, he's been on it. Oh, uh, okay. Off. I'll have a look then, because apparently it was bad, and obviously the hand car wash is rubbish, but yeah, I guess it's, I it's on over the weekend. It has been. I saw it doing number plates. Alright, well, I'm going out there now, so I'll have a look. Yeah, I think I'll get photographed on that finish. Come on, mate. That's why I ran up here, the lights are going to smear me. You're looking there? Yeah, I was going to say you've got a massive, it's, not, it's on your other lens. I keep meaning to tell you. Dan, thank you very much, Dan. Local. Uh, so, uh, just could have cleaned it a bit better, Dan, to be honest with you. So, just kidding, it's fine. But we need to get it clean before we take any pictures of it. That's sold. That's the bollocks. Excuse my French. That's now fixed. Bought that back off someone. Because uh, the Easter you got flooded, 
by rainwater. Apparently, there are probably people who know BMWs know this. It was in the place where it filled up with water, basically, and water electrics don't mix, do they? So we paid to have it repaired and have a whole new ECU put in and programmed. And oh, this is the one. Remember, you remember where they like put an extra like hundred thousand miles on it, and we we're like, yeah, and they're like, yeah, no, you must, have, you must, the car must be clocked. We got a vehicle in with you. We need to get it sorted, but whoever we spoke to before was incredibly unhelpful. It's one of those difficult situations. Like if they're just saying, oh no, we're not doing anything. We're not doing anything. You, it, like, of course you've got to do something. You know, like. But you can't like, you think it's clocked or not, or you what, or whatever, it isn't, for a start. And B, we can't give this back to our customer and say, yeah, you've just got 50,000 miles in the car now. You've got 50% of the value of the car. Sorry about that, off you pop. Yeah. Anyway, we went for all that fun. I nearly murdered someone. And uh, it did it again. Because supposedly they drilled some holes in there so it wouldn't, whatever, fill up again. But they didn't clear out the bung holes underneath, I don't know, but it fucked again, so then we had to buy it back. So now we've done it again, cheaper, I might add, by sending it somewhere else rather than going to the grumpy people. Um, now we need to sell it again, but I've decided 2007's too old for here. I didn't want to sell it in the first place, but Jason did because he thought it was a good margin in it. Now it's been a pain in my asshole. So um, Sophie can sell it from down the farm. Anyway, that's irrelevant, we need to move this. I figured out what the, uh, what's causing the damp smell in here because it was very damp. You'll probably remember from picking up yesterday, me moaning about it. Um, the boot is full of water, so uh, they've been looking at that. Apparently, it's quite a common thing the boot's misaligned or something, so it doesn't seal properly. So, they're gonna sort that out for us. Watch your hand. When's the uh, Mini Cooper SD going out? Thursday. Okay. I texted, I'm a bit worried about how it's going to arrive and I thought you might want to pick up today. But yeah, you said I'll come back on that Thursday. Oops. Uh, oh yeah, any excuse to stop running. I'll tell you what we're going to do, we're going to get some black paint. We touch in these alloys before we do quick pictures. I'll probably restore those wheels on that car out there. But just to make them look better, for the sake of pictures, Joe's top tip for, uh, for touch up. If you haven't got a touch up pen kit, which we might have actually, well, we will have because there's loads here. I've got stupid names, and I'm just. Say just black. That's furniture stuff. Arrow silver. Date and growl. <laughs> Reflex silver. Arden blau. That'd be Arden's blue for Foxel. Lovely, lovely colour. Some kind of Barcelona red. <laughs> Flash blue. All right, maybe we haven't got a black one then. Gris Cassiope. I don't know what color that's meant to be. So. What we'll do instead is, don't make the mistake I'm about to make, which is finding that this cap has got a hole in it. I don't know why you've got so many things with faces painted on them. <laughs> Guys are weird. There's right. Loads There's loads of them. This one's angry. This one's demented. That's, that one hasn't got a face. That one's happy. What on earth? They haven't even got anything in them. You gotta wonder. <laughs> this is why it's important to really do your research when you're recruiting. Anyway, <laughs> spray some black in here and then we can leave it to kind of cure not cure but you know what I mean thicken let mix thicken and then we can kind of brush it on so that was that um, Let's 
school. Right, Topski, I'm going to enlist your help now, mate. You have to do some actual work. All right? Huh? Uh, do you want to drive this bad boy out, and I'll bring the mini policeman in? paint applicator if you're doing a fairly rough job. You could do it being thick and still to be honest but just to uh, improve it for the sake of pictures before we get them refurb look at that hey skills and obviously close up under a camera or whatever It'll be obvious, but yeah, like that. But from further away, just for the sake of some pictures, to get it online. It's looking awful, this is all the stuff. And you could, if you really wanted to get into it, get some silver and go around to all these other stuff. But I should get myself an Instagram, shouldn't I? Joe Details. Paint restoration. Well, I might, I probably will get destroyed in comments because I always do. No one likes me. Boo hoo. But, um, the fact of the matter is, a bit of people want to slag me off for saying, like, oh, you sell old bangers, it's all high mileage and old stuff and it's like right but people want to buy it and you know it's still got value there's still profit in it and you know something tells me that you're the person that snarky comment from is coming from doesn't own like three hundred thousand pounds worth of cars so you know i'll take it on the chin whatever people want to buy it same as doing this it's, it's like Improvements, not perfection. It would be nice to sell brand new cars or whatever, but there's more profit in these second hand cars with like whatever this is, 50,000 miles on them, than there is in new cars. I promise you, there's no money in new cars, even if I wanted to do that, which I don't. And doing things like this will get the wheels refurbished, but you've got to keep the wheels of the business turning, keep the cash flowing, keep the business growing. That's what Dave, Dave at Cardi the Pro is like a walking dictionary of these. But it's true, probably going a bit off topic here, but it's good enough for the sake of doing pictures. That's an improvement. Yes, I know it's not perfect. I'm not saying this is the best way to do it. And this is a, a, a good repair. Just put the jet wash over this and that paint will come off. But in the pictures, it's going to look all one colour. And that's not to trick people into thinking the wheels are in good condition, then get them here and then rip them off somehow tell some old lady that that's what they should look like and take all of their pensions and savings we're going to get them done but this just you know alleviates that like oh those wheels look awful I won't bother calling I mean they still look awful but... right we've got Dom from DB Details he actually is a genuinely a good like valeter, detailer, paint corrector you know extraordinaire he is coming in What's the date? 6th. He's coming in on the 15th, so a week on Monday. 
to give Mark and Macaulay some training on, you know, just being more difficult this stuff, maybe some polishing and whatnot. So we'll, um, he's up for coming on camera as well, so we'll get some of his skills, we can teach you some stuff, but he would probably be telling me now, knowing that, well, A, obviously, if you're going to pick, you know, and say you want to do the best thing, you wouldn't use a rapid detailer on a car that's got a bit of dust on it. But, for the sake of a quick clean over, and making it look shiny and pretty, it's fine. Um, but what he would say is, you want to use as little product as possible, so I'd probably just spray this rag wet, and that would do the whole car. So, you can check that, but like that should be enough to do this whole car. Because it's like a fast evaporating whatever. I'm sure that's what he told me. Stay tuned for two more weeks and you'll find out more. Whether it's in the weekly or... Might be able to make a separate video out of it, might be Toast. Oh, no. He's also like a world-class beatboxer as well. So we'll put him on the spot and make him do some beatboxing. Someone there has tried to clean off bird poo or something. And looks like they've used a Brillo pad. So... If this is still here by then, that would be a good one to demonstrate. <laughs> oh, shit, that will clean. Oh, I sprayed more than I should have done. Now again, Don's going to tell us to use a different product than this, because this will flick off. But, for me, this is a nice quick way to dress these plastics up using a bit of fire shine stuff. Probably quicker and better ways of doing this as well. Got quite a nice foam sort of like applicator thing somewhere, but shiny looks rubbish. Just looks overdone and whatever. I'll just give it a nice little wipe off then. What you're trying to look for is like looking like original. It's just quite like the fact. I have some wiggle room. Uh, what's that on the on the golf? golf verbal. Um, possibly, don't know. Could we just add a tax change from Laura, simply? Yeah. Um, we've got to do, looks like one tie needs to be done. We're not emptying yet, we're not servicing yet. Um, and. Hello, sir. Hello. Hello. Oh, wait, let the professional have a go. Right, so uh, pretty much end of day Saturday. What time is it? Oh, I haven't set this time right actually. It says it's like one minute to one, but it's not, it's one minute to two. This watch, it's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Actually, this isn't my watch. This could be your watch. All you've got to do is be a subscriber. I keep saying and asking people, subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. There's nothing really in it for you, is there? Other than top quality videos. I'm giving away this watch. It's worth two grand. It's lovely. Look at that. Someone is going to win that bad boy. And all you've got to do is subscribe. And on top of winning, potentially, a very nice watch, you get to see my beautiful face even more as well. I'm going to put that there because I don't want to do any damage to it because I am clumsy as anything. We need to do best car bought, best car sold. Last week, or the episode just gone out, we asked if there was any better ideas, but that's going out today. So that hasn't gone out, that goes out today. So we might have some better ideas later, but for now we've got best car bought and best car sold. So um, what week are we on? Well, this week. <laughs> I was trying to think of the V, there's a two we've bought from subscribers and they said my car better be car of the week. <laughs> Jason has just done a test drive in the oh, Volkswagen Passat that came from Simon. He will have been in this video anyway, so he's got featured, you know, fine, whatever. Um, we have bought some quite nice stuff, but the other one is a five series. So let's go and have a look at the five series. This we bought from Dan, a Dan who's got 
a name the same as our Dan, not just Dan, but his surname is the same, other than one letter, which is really weird, because you start getting emails from Dan, what his surname is. Um, anyway, it's a very nice white 520G. I assume it's an M Sport Auto. Obviously needs a clean inside. But, um, true to my word, Dan, I'll say this is the best car I bought of the week. We, on top of that, we've bought a nice Range Rover Sport. We've bought a Land Rover Discovery Sport. Uh, we've got that quite cool uh, mini paceman. That, actually, it's there. Toby's making wincy faces because he doesn't think it's very cool, but it's a 1.6 turbocharged four-wheel drive coupe. That's, that's pretty cool. Um, then we need to do best car sold, don't we? Um, trying to think what we've sold. Tell you what, I'm going to do it as a group this week, just to make it slightly different. Our baths, because we sold all three of them on Tuesday. Kind of, kind of, you'll see in the week. Uh, one we took a kind of online reservation for, which was the red one. And now the chap's come in on Friday, which is yesterday, and... He is full on going with the deal, but he left a, a reservation anyway. The blue one, we had a call from a kind of finance company, said there's someone for it, could we get it done and sorted? We desperately needed it for the weekend. And luckily, that's the one that we'd bought on a previous week, but it needed quite a bit of mechanical work. We'd done all the mechanical work, we'd MOT'd it, we just needed to get the bumper painted, which we did. And that got delivered to London yesterday. So that was that one done. And then we've still got the yellow, our bar 595 here but again someone came in on tuesday they didn't leave a deposit on the tuesday but they did buy about thursday but we knew we knew they were gonna buy it they loved it so yeah it was a week of our bars really weird because we'd had three of them there in stock for a little while and all of a sudden our bar was the hottest thing in fact when there's someone there kind of viewing the yellow one there was someone else turning up saying uh i'd like it so Got to try and get some more Arbar 595s in. But no, my luck if I do, they'll stick around forever. What else has happened? Do you know what? It's been, um, it's been a mixed bag this week. The week started off with selling all those cars. It's been really busy, so it's really good. I think we're on about uh, 12, 13 cars sold in the first five days of the month. Brilliant, much better than we've been doing recently. Um, but I had two finance companies getting one well, might be the same finance company on two different cars one of which was a clio i don't know if we talked about this in the week but basically it was a clio renault sport thing and she thinks it's slipping between gears we couldn't get it to do that but she was a new driver and she brought her back and we sort of looked at it and said mm, i don't know but i mean after five months at this point if it is something to do with the clutch and the auto gearbox then you know it's not really our responsibility but you know, take it to the local gearbox people and see what they say. See if there is really a fault there or not. Bearing in mind, this car was battered. We'll put a little clip here of just how bad the wheels were, considering we'd just powder coated them for sale. Just grab the mileage, which is currently 83,280. Um, taking this video as a customer's complaint to the finance company. These wheels were refurbished before sale. Absolutely ripped to shreds. Every single wheel. Anyway, but they phoned up and said, yeah, yeah, she wants, she's expecting you to pay for it. And this, this company, first response, I think, I think it was first response, had said, um, oh yeah, of course, because under Consumer Rights Act, we will be wanting you to pay for it because in the first six months, I'm like, whoa, hold on, don't start telling me how it works because in the first six months, we'd be responsible if they say that it was there at the point of sale. But if she's been driving like an absolute hooligan, which judging by the wheel, she probably has, it wouldn't be our responsibility. And the other one was, oh, a chap who just, bone of contention between me and Jason, a chap who keeps phoning up. He had bought a C-Max from us and traded in on the C-Max and he wanted this done and that fixed and this fixed and just niggly little bits which we, we paid for him, just sent him the money because he was so far away he didn't want to come back to us and then he wanted a clutch done because he thought the clutch pedal was high but he took it to a garage and they were like well maybe the clutch is a little bit high but it's still perfectly functioning, it's not slipping etc and yeah they re reported it to them and they were like yeah yeah we're going to get an independent report done. Just doing my head in. And then on the Porsche 
speaking to the finance manager from Close Brothers, who were dealing with that one, he said, oh yeah, I'm going to send you through the invoice for the deposit now, because I've paid Close Brothers back, but I haven't paid the customer his deposit back, because obviously we wanted to deduct some money for all the stone chips, the missing floor mat, the fact that the rear view mirror is knackered, um, the fact that it was mouldy, needs a proper good valet inside. Um, I can't remember what else. But yeah, they're like, no, we just, we just want the full amount back. And I was like, no, we'll see you in court. So yeah, that was that. But then we've been busy selling cars, so swings around about. You've got a fairly thick skin if you want to do this job. Um, but anyway, yeah, that's my end of week rant. We tend to do this every week, don't we? You just waffle on. Um, Dan obviously wants to move this. Feel please, feel free. Um, Jason's out with someone who's test driving three different cars. Hopefully you can sell him one of them. And yeah, people are still turning up. That's one that's come back on our warranty because it's got no heaters working apparently. So, and now we've got more people walking on the forecourt. Um, oh, they just pulled up in a very nice C-Class Coupe. I got a feeling we were going to take one of those in part exchange. So I wonder if they're... Jason's out on the test drive, so I better go around there and find out. They might nick that watch. I left it in there. Right, turns out uh, Jason's actually out there and watch is still there. So that's all right. Anyway, that is it for this week. Um, hopefully it's been a fairly interesting one. Do the same sort of thing next week. So see us here next time, next Saturday, five o'clock. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. You might get a chance to win that watch. Like the video. If you want to sell your car, go to carsportformore.com. If you want to buy a car, see what we've got in stock. Barrowmotors.co.uk. What other stuff do I normally shove down people's throat at the end of a video? If you want to buy any merchandise, you can go to shiftingmetal.co.uk. We've also got private number plates for sale. You might have something on there. If your name's Lee, uh, Leo, I think there's one for Leo. And if your name's SGC, then there's someone's on there anyway. So check that out. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. We'll see you next week.